Hello Explorer, welcome to the briefing room. My name is Nova and I will be your guide and educator throughout our journey. Today you will be taking part in an exciting adventure to Mars. Why Mars you may be thinking? So much of what drives cosmic exploration involves a quest to learn whether or not we're alone in the universe. And Mars, being so close compared with the rest of the cosmos, is a no-brainer as the first place you want to visit in your search for alien life. Let's not overlook the fact that sending a man mission to Mars is a fantastic adventure. For many, it's the realisation of an amazing dream. Imagine living on another planet, millions of miles from the Earth, looking up into the sky with the knowledge that one of the stars is actually the planet you were born on. Well, a human colony on Mars is exactly what has been proposed by the Mars One project. It's Mars One's Martian satellite that we are going to visit. Why don't you take a look at the globe of Mars in the corner? You'll get a clearer picture of where we are heading. Did you know the surface of Mars is mapped better than Earth's ocean floors? Oh, and that's not water ice on the poles, it's dry ice, frozen carbon dioxide. I'll be in the next room ready in the teleportation machine. Feel free to look around and proceed into the chamber when you are ready. Explorer, you have arrived on Mars, and this is the Mars One Settlement. I hope you don't mind me playing my jingle, it gets me in the mood for the tour. I trust the journey wasn't too turbulent? I already took the initiative of protecting you from the environment, otherwise you would have died within a couple of minutes of arriving. It's minus 55 Celsius here, and the atmosphere is predominantly carbon dioxide, so it's not great for humans. Anyway, come with me and I'll show you around. Let's start with the landing units. The landers were all long from Earth on separate journeys. The first units to land weren't occupied by humans. Instead, they contained supplies and rovers. The rovers' missions were to prepare the way for the first human settlers. They laid down all these solar panels that you can see and extracted the inflatable living quarters from the living units. These living quarters extend from the back of the living units. The life support units and the ones with no doors, they sustain the living units and quarters. Let's go take a look. in separate groups of four, two years apart from each other. Having said that, I've carefully timed this journey for us to observe the final descent of the next lander. It should be blasting down in a few minutes from now. Trust me, when its rockets fire up, you can't miss it. In the meantime, come with me and let me tell you a little more about Mars. Mars 
Mars has approximately 24 hour days just like on Earth. Mars also tilts on its axis to a similar degree as Earth, which means it too has four seasons. You may notice that the sky is a pale scarlet colour. Well that's because at our current longitude and latitude we are experiencing a late Martian afternoon. As the Martian day progresses to evening, the sky's hue will gradually turn to pale blue. Despite being called the red planet, you may have noticed the surface colour is closer to butterscotch. The Martian surface colour only looks red from a distance. This is due to the large amount of dust in the atmosphere. Here it comes!